All right, today we're gonna to take a look at the Anchor Power Bank. It's a portable power bank. Um, you basically just hook up your electronics to this and uh, it will charge off of the USB cable that you have um, for your iPhone, your Samsung phone, basically uh, anything that can, has a USB charger attached to it. So it comes in this little handy carrying case. Um, this is kind of like a cushy. I don't know what kind of material it is. It kind of feels like maybe a wetsuit, that kind of material. Uh, but it's cushy, it's soft. I guess it's meant to kind of help protect the actual power bank that's inside here. It has this little zip, uh, like a zip cord here. And this is what holds the power bank. Let's go, ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is the power bank that I purchased. Um, it is made by a company called Anchor. I think that they're pretty popular when it comes to uh, power banks. They have a lot of different varieties available. This is the one that I purchased. The reason I bought this one, it has uh, a lot of power available in it. I think it was 10,000 um, AMH or something like that. Let me see if it says back here. Yeah, so uh, there is the capacity that you want to look for when you are looking to purchase one of these. Uh, this one has 10,000 10, AMH. In order to uh, fully charge an iPhone, I believe that it was around 2,000 or 2,500, maybe 3,000 AMH to uh, charge it. So uh, this one can basically charge my iPhone about four different times um, if this is on a fully charged power bank. So as you can see right here, these are the USB outlets. So basically whatever your charger is, you'll plug it into here and then the cord will go directly to your phone or your camera or whatever it is that you're charging. So instead of plugging it into the wall, you'll just plug it into this battery case right here. So it has those two outlets right there and that's it for outlets. So you can charge two uh, devices with this. And then in order to charge the battery itself, um, it has this outlet right here. So this is a mini USB. Uh, basically you'll plug your mini USB here and then that would then plug into the wall when you need to refill your power bank. So I bought this one when I was in New York. Um, I live in California where we generally will drive cars around or we're located close to some sort of an outlet. In New York, I did a lot of walking, so uh, my battery uh, died down pretty quick because I was using it as a map, and that really just chews up the battery quickly. So I just brought this uh, power bank, and uh, anytime the battery is running low, I would just plug it in. It's uh, small enough that it can fit in your pocket, so you could ch charge while your phone is in your, I don't know, like your backpack or purse or something like that. So how do you know uh, how much power is in this, or how much power is left? This particular power bank has these four lights, one, two, three, four. Um, I believe that it means, it's basically split the power into four. So if it has two lights on, uh, then that means that half the power is already gone. So the way you check is there's a little button right here. You can hardly see it, but when you press the button, it'll light up. So as you can see, only three lights came on. So this probably has about 75% of the battery left or less. So I could still probably get about two charges out of this um, power bank before I'll need to recharge this one and use it to charge up my other items. So you might wonder how heavy this is. Uh, this is actually, it's not really heavy, but it is substantial because it is a battery and it's a battery that holds quite a bit of juice. So it probably weighs about, I don't know, maybe a pound. So you could use it as a paperweight if you wanted to, if it ends up breaking, but uh, 
yeah, it has a little bit of weight to it. You, of course, can get a lighter one, but it's not going to have as much juice as this one does to charge your items with. So again, this one I can charge four different times, uh, charge my phone four different times. But again, it is compromised because it is a little bit heavier. The material, um, I have no idea what it is. I think it might be plastic. Yeah, probably plastic. It looks like it's glass, but I don't think it is. Um, just because it's extra smooth and shiny. So that's why to me, it kind of looks like it might be glass, but I'm not too sure. It's basically made of this whole, all the way around, like a hard plastic. All right, so if you're curious about what size this is, um, basically, here you go. This is a typical size coffee cup to the right here. And then on the left is the power bank. So it's not quite as tall as a coffee cup, but uh, it's very close. This would be size, the size of like maybe a, a grande coffee cup at Starbucks. And that's how tall it is when it's laying on its back. So All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look to see how this thing is plugged in. So there are the female USB outlets. I got two cables here. One is for the mini USB. And this one is for an iPhone. So basically what happens is you take this part of the USB, the same part you would plug into the charger and you just kind of Connect it into there. There you go. Same thing on this one. If you have a Samsung phone, I think they use these or any other kind of mini USB, you plug in the typical USB in here. And that's it. So now you got these set up and you can plug this end into your, um, into your iPhone. And it'll just start charging. As you can see, the battery, you still have 75% here. And then on this one, same thing. It's just a, another charging cable. So you could be charging two different phones at the same time using this one battery case. So there you go. Anchor power bank. Um, if you want more information, just be sure to uh, click the description. Um, I might say that if you don't need uh, four different charges, if you're not going to feel like you're away from a charging outlet for very long, you'll probably get the lighter version or less battery capacity than this one. Uh, this one worked out best for me because I was out on the road walking around for 10 hours and uh, I didn't have any issues running out of battery. But if you just want something to keep an emergency or some quick juice, uh, you could probably find one that's smaller than this. So yeah, hopefully you found the information useful. Uh, if so, be sure to click thumbs up and uh, or subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.